Hey guys, it's Pleasure All One here with another episode of Money and Micro Forge. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom armor and a custom armor material. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So the first place we're going to want to go is into our server proxy, okay? Right, inside of here, we're going to type public integer add armor string parameter 1 not parameter 1, we'll set this as armor open and brace and then we return 0, ok so um, this is only for like when we're trying to access the armor server side but, so this isn't really important at the moment because we won't really add armor server side but it still needs to be there nonetheless I'm going to use my client proxy I'm going to type public um, public integer add armor uh, string armor embrace and then we're going to return rendering just string dot add new armor prefix and the string will be armor <laughs> look at that, it's the same it's like, as, as the default, okay, but anyway so basically what this does, this allows us to actually kind of like register the armor to be rendered inside our, when it's on the player. Not when it's in the inventory, but only when it's on the player. Okay. So, we're not going to give our armor a custom material yet. We're actually going to use the, de um, the default vanilla ones. And then we'll, after we create the armor, we'll create the custom materials. Okay. So first, uh, when we're going to go into our item class, our main item class... And we're going to create a few variables. So these variables are going to be we're going to create four variables: the helmet, the chest plate, the pants, and the boots. So I'm going to go public, static, item, tot, helmet. Don't know why I had brackets there. Then public, static, item, tot. Um, plate public static item tot pants and then last but no means least public static spell static item tot boots okay so let's have four variables and obviously we need to initialize these variables for it to actually work so we'll initialize them inside of here so what we're going to do, we're going to go tut helmet, it's going to be equal to new tut armor, so this is going to be the class we're going to create, and this is going to take three parameters. The first parameter is going to be the material type, so we're going to type, uh, so we can later on we'll place our custom material here, but for now we're just going to place our default uh, normal um, vanilla armor material, so we're going to type armor material dot, I'll make it the same as, I don't know, diamond, comma, then we need to type main registry dot proxy, okay, because this is where we're actually going to tell it to um, register the rendering part, dot add armor, and then inside of the string we're going to type, um, tut, um, it could be anything, by the way, and then last but no means least, no comma, I'm going to press zero, okay? The reason we're placing a zero there is because that is the armor piece it's going to be. Because, um, basically, this is the, the armor piece. So, zero's helmet, one's chest plate, two's pants, and three's leggings. Remember, because computers count up from zero, it's binary, so we have to always count from zero, so that's why it starts at zero, nonetheless. Okay. After that, we're going to do dot set on localized name. I'm going to set this to tut helmet. And then I'm going to go dot set creative tabs. Tab, sorry. Creative tabs dot tab combat. And then I'm going to go dot set texture name. And our texture name will be strings dot mod id plus colon 
Tut's helmet. Okay, that's that, that will be just a team up debuff texture, so it's literally just I wrote a H inside of the texture thing, okay? But that is how you initialize your armor piece. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna press enter now and paste this three times. Because of these four pieces in a set, we already created the first one, okay? We're gonna leave the class the same. The only bit we need to change are the names. So you keep this as all sort of because it's going to be all re registered under one name. Obviously, we need to change this bit to, from like tut helmet to tut plate pants and then boots. And then this bit here plate that's just going to be a P in a box, literally. A uh, C in a box, sorry, for chest plate. Because uh, pants will be a P. Pants, and then boots. Okay. So now what we're going to do? We're actually going to register the items, the uh, the actual items, but not the armor, just the items. So we're going to copy and paste that. Two, three, four. So basically, I've just got my registries. I just copied the spade for now, and then we just copy and paste it. So these names, so we can actually register them. Awesome, so that's all for the items registered. Now we're actually gonna add the names to them. Okay. So I'm gonna go into my lang file and I'm gonna add names to these things. So item dot tut helmet dot name is equal to tutorial helmet item dot tut plate dot name is equal to tutorial chest plate uh, the reason I put plate in the side of the, the actual code rather than chest plate is because it's just easy to type item whereas in this we only type it once item dot tut pants dot name is equal to tutorial there, uh, leggings. I thought I was calling pants. I don't know what diamond down as. I try to name the other ones are, but when we look at last one, is item dot tut boots dot name. It's going to be equal to tutorial boots. Okay, so we've actually registered the item, we've initialized the item, we've given the item's names. Now we need to create the actual item class. Okay. So I'm going to hover over the detail armor, I'm going to hit create class, hit finish, and we're presented with a screen like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to go extends item armor. Okay, so we're going to import that, I'm going to add the constructor, and boom. Okay, so we can just leave the, the, these little things here, we don't need to edit these. But what we will need to edit is this bit down here, we're going to type, uh, if we go to item, we can actually have a look at the method, but you hit control F, and you type get armor texture, obviously we have a method down here, so we can actually copy all of this, including the annotation if you wanted, so I'm just going to copy the annotation as well, <coughs> okay, and it explains like all the parameters for you. No, we don't need this annotation. It's just distracting from the video. Okay. So, we're going to get rid of the return statement. And basically, we're just going to type a few things in here. So, we're going to create an if statement. So, we're going to go if stack, which is our item, which is we call upon item stack, dot get item is equal to tm item dot tut helmet. Okay, so we're gonna leave that there. And we're gonna type or which is the two the two straight lines, okay? If you don't know where that are, where they are, on I don't know where they are on an American keyboard, if I hope they're in the same place. But if you actually look to the bottom left of your keyboard where control is, look up one, you should see shift. And look to the right, you should see that straight line. 
So you have to hold shift and also the straight line at the same, uh, that button at the same time. So tm item dot total it. Then I'm going to go again. Tm item dot tot plate. We're going to call upon. Or again, tm item dot tot boots. Okay. I have not missed out the. Um, I have not missed out pants, but we need to actually place that stack bit there as well. Because pa uh, pants in um, during the texture file, because this is what we're doing, we're assigning textures to the thing. Um, it's actually under a different like name, under a different file. Sorry. So, so we're going to add an opening brace to extend this if statement, and then this we need to return here, and we'll be returning a string which we're going to edit in a minute. After you've done that, we're going to go down one to this little uh, bracket, uh, this little brace here. And you're going to type else if, let's see if it makes a bit clearer and a bit more space so it's easy to read. Else if, then we need to go stack dot get item is double equal to tm item dot tot pants. Open and brace there. We need to return a string, which we'll also show you in a minute. And last but not least, we need to go else, and just normal else for open brace, and then we turn null. Like so, okay, and you'll see we have no errors in the code. However, when we actually launch the game and run it, you'll see that well, your RAM won't be textures because we haven't created textures yet for the actual model on the player. Okay, so the way you create the textures for the model is well, rather than just like you know, start a new file, make it, just make it, uh, just making it more tedious than it needs to be. And um, we can actually open up our file explorer. Well, go to uh, navigate to our MCP folder. So mine's in programming, MCPs, YouTube tutorials. Okay, and then we're in here. So what you need to do, you need to open up build, temp, so TMP, uh, recomp source, assets, Minecraft, textures. Ah, uh, where is it? Models, there it is. Armor, and then you're in here. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the um what you can do is actually take these files here, these iron layers, iron layer one and iron layer two. So you can right click on them and hit open. Open with paint.net or Photoshop or whatever you've got. You need to open up both of them. Open with paint.net. Okay, and what you do, you just need to edit the textures inside of this file inside of this file, okay? So you can make, I don't know, all of this blue, and all that blue, and then, same with here. So this is your legs, this is your chest plate, that's your helmet, and that's your boots, okay? Simple as that. And if I actually open up, I made a very, very basic one before. So I'll open up these two. Actually, these aren't very good textures, all I've done is fill, made, uh, filled in the actual gaps. So I made the outline black and the inside blue. And that's an example of a texture simples. Okay, so that's that. So I changed this to this. Okay, simple as that. Okay, what you need to do then, you need to actually save both fi those files inside of your folder. I create. Uh, you need to create a new folder called armor, okay, or models, you could, it doesn't really matter. So once you create that new folder called armor inside of your textures folder, uh, save them in there as tut armor 1 and tut armor 2. Okay, just give them two different names. So what we're going to do is we're going to return strings dot mod id plus our actual string now, which we're going to type, which will be colon textures forward slash um, armor forward slash um, tut armor one dot png because that's our helmet plate and boots so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here apart from I'm going to change this to tot armor 2 I believe it or not guys you've actually just created your armor okay so if we actually run the client and launch the game 
I will already be wearing the armor because I was messing around with it before. Okay. So you see I'm actually wearing this armor, so we've got our tutorial boots, chest plate and stuff. Uh, so place them in order. So we've got our tutorial helmet, our tutorial chest plate, our tutorial pants, and our tutorial boots. Okay? So you see this, these are armor pieces, even though they don't look like armor. So basically, what I can do, I can right click with the helmet, it will automatically equip it, and you see we're wearing our helmet. Like so. Same with chest plate. You can right click with it. So he says. Oh! I made a mistake. Big boo boo, guys. I know what I've done. You need to go back to your item file. And we didn't change all of these. So we need to change that to one, two, and three. Because that changes it to plate, pants, and boots. So it says that this is plate, this is pants, and that's boots. Okay. Since we had it all set to zero, all, they were all helmets. Okay, so we just run this again. It's a big boo boo. My bad. Now you've created your armor. So if you actually run this, you can right click with it. Now, and it should equip. Yeah, we are. And you see, we have the full set of armor. Brilliant. How fantastic is that? So we've got our armor on. We can even grab our tool. We can even grab one of our weapons if we wanted. One. We'll grab our sword. We can actually a five. Yeah. Okay. But you'll see that if we go back into game or death, in fact, we we'll probably grab some mobs. Got some spiders again. So they're perfect for demonstrating in the daylight. Uh, so I'll go into game mode S. And you see we actually have uh, our armor bars, so it's made it the same as diamond. So we can actually spawn a bunch of spiders and you see we take reduced damage. We're in peaceful. So you see we're actually take, we'll take reduced damage from all of these. That we're actually taking no damage at the moment. You see we get hard, hard, fun, attack. I just killed your friend. You see that we actually take, take about half heart of damage a little bit at a time. See, he's actually protecting us. Okay, so it wasn't a very good demonstration, but it's, besides the point, it still, it still proved it worked. Okay, so we can quit the game now. And now I'm going to demonstrate how to create your custom um, armor material. So I didn't actually do the test this out before, so I'm just going to go off the bat, I assume. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go under here, where I placed my tables here before. And I'm going to go public static armor material uh, tut armor material we're back yeah, sorry about that and we can set this tut armor material equal to enum helper dot add, to add armor material and we're going to set the name to tutorial to um Armor um, material. Okay, so durability, um, reduction of melts, and enchantability. Okay, we can actually go and refer to the old files inside of armor material, and you'll see this is the same the same thing. Okay, so the way this works is the first one's just going to be an old integer. Okay, so you see here that it would be the um, what was it durability? Yeah, durability. So I'm not too sure how that really works, but nonetheless it still works. So if we look for durability, if it's on here. It's, it doesn't really explain how it works, but durability is basically... I'm trying to think of a way you could explain it, like in terms of measurement. There's not really a way you can measure it, measure it if I'm, as far as I'm aware. But basically 33 is really strong and it'll almost last you pretty much forever, jeez. But anyway, so we'll set it, I will set it to the same as diamond, so we'll, we'll set it to 33. And then reduction amounts, okay. You see inside of here, it's going to ask us for an array. So what, basically we do the same, so we go new, insure int, array, and then we add two braces, okay. And this is where we enter our reduction amounts, okay. And that is, basically the reduction amounts are the amount of bars that are inside, uh, uh, it provides protection, okay. So in total, it's a total of 20 bars of protection we can have. So we could set, I don't know, the the headpiece, which is which is zero, so we start off with the first array, which will be zero. 
So we set this to equal to two, which is basically one whole bar of armor. That's what the helmet will provide us with. Okay, and then we can go comma, comma, oh, we let Let's close this and open it up again. These won't let me press comma, man. Comma, there we are. And we can make this add, um, we can make the chest piece, obviously since it's the strongest piece, we could have this add, add, I don't know, two and a half bars of armor. We can make the leg piece add, um, two pieces of, um, add two pieces of armor. I can make the boots add the same as the helmet, which will be two, uh, which will be one bar of armor. So if we do two plus, that's, that's nine. 9 plus 2 plus 2, that's 13, okay. So we'll have a total of 5, 6, we'll have a total of 6.5 bars of armor there, so it would be equal to about iron or something, or I don't know. But anyway, so then the enchantability, like I said, it's just never really understood that, so we just set it to 10. Okay. So that's your custom material. So what we can do now is we can actually copy to armor material and replace the armor material diamond with our own. And now we can run the game. Run the client. We'll get into the game. And like I said, um, we calculated then that it should be six and a half uh, bars of armor there. And there is six and a half bars of armor. Like I said, okay. And you see, we've taken durability from this uh, from this at the moment because it was originally diamond. Now it's been the has just been changed to um, arrow, which was. Which we changed to the same as time still, so it's not really changed. Whoops. So I can't really demonstrate that. But you see, if we set it to like a low durability, that it would actually decay quicker every time it got hit. Or took damage. Hey okay, guys, this has been the Ghost Project 01 with how to make your own custom armor. The armor and armor material. Thanks for watching, I guess I'll see you guys in another episode of Modern Warfare Forge. Bye guys!